In the world of dress-up characters, there was a famous one that was uh, quite... Well, I think it was nationally known. It started out in Melbourne. His name was Marty Monster. This was quite a few years ago. And Marty, on one particular show, had a real uh, torrid time with a real animal that didn't know much about Marty the Monster, thought it was just another uh, animal to perhaps uh, uh, dominate. And this is Marty some years ago. Have a look at this. It's been, now being shown all around the world, this footage. Darlings of the Gods with him recently, which is going to be on later in the year. Very affectionate. And, uh, and he's appeared in quite, uh, quite a few films. Rags? <laughs> Rags? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I think he wants to get off. Oh, See how he, he wants to get up. Here we go. Mind you, this segment went. This segment went forever. Marty got up. He was he was feeling okay at this time. At this moment. You know what day it is, mate? But you couldn't you couldn't stop Rags the kangaroo. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, give him something. That's all he really wanted was a bit of bread to eat. Some areas they're overpopulated, but it's. <laughs> the monster anyway I think <laughs> poor Marty but uh, we just thought that that's been suddenly it's been sold all around the world in just about every country um, we might catch up with Marty <laughs> later on then again we may not yeah <laughs> depends on how he is um, I'm looking at the uh, pile of uh, letters here which are all to do with funny photos <laughs> okay. the Servingtons of Graceville in Brisbane Hello to all the people watching from Brizzy. Dear Daryl, travelling outbound and on Ipswich Road, heading towards Toowoomba, I found these two billiards... Oh, billboards. <laughs> two billiards. I found two billboards perfectly placed next to each other. Enjoy the Shervingtons. Thank you very much. So they're driving on, and this is the first one they saw advertising shoes, would you believe? And then the next sign along the road... <laughs> um, um, it's, quite, it's not a funny photo, it's a funny placement, isn't it? Funny placement indeed. This one from Mr. and Mrs. Strout. Strout, unusual name. From Nairn in South Australia. We thought we'd send this photo in uh, because we're a bit concerned about our child's nanny. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh there's that kangaroo when he was younger. Look, he's going to hold frame up. Um, yeah, not too bad. I think it's as funny as the first one. This one from uh, Fiona, uh, looks like McKissick. Uh, probably is from Nari Warren. Here's a photo of our son Isaac, aged nine months. Not a happy biker. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's funny. That's a little a young Mick Dewan. Look at that. That's that's pretty good. I think that's. Um, I'd almost have that ahead. Yes, it's a funny photo. Yeah. yeah. Funny I'll put that aside. Um, Angelo and Madeline Strathopolis of South Melbourne, dear Daryl and gang. The following photo. It's of our cat, Steffi, who just got back from a recent exploration. Hope you can use it in your funny photo segment. Regards, Angelo and Madeline. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's cute. That's more perhaps cute than, than funny. I think Bubby's coming first. Is Bubby coming first in Bubby's your... Bubby's first in my ...estimation? Books. All right. This one from Marianne... There was, dis... there was discontent in the audience. <laughs> The melons. Oh, I think the audience have turned. The audience is, the audience is revolting. They certainly are. Boom, boom. I took this photo on a trip to the Philippines. Uh, perhaps the sign should have been written in their native language. Ah, absolutely no dumping of garbage in this area. Fine, one million. 
How come you're doing? <laughs> How come you're doing a Chinese accent? That's a, well. That's a, did you do Filipino? No, I cannot do a Filipino. I cannot say Filipino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, the reject melons, there they are, the reject melons. Not bad, but I think, the, well, obviously, the, it's not the baby, it's the melons out in front. We'll put the, uh, the melons are way out in front. All right, then. <laughs> uh, from Dan Hamilton of Frankston. A good party can give you a glow in the cheeks, but this is ridiculous. Ah. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you're obviously a double exposure. Go on again. <laughs> it's a double exposure. Right? Yeah. Funny though. Funny. Agreed. Well, now we have the dilemma. It, re it reminds me of that song, He Lights Up His Wife. <laughs> no, no, you light up my luck. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> That's what Joan of Arc's husband said. You oh, light, you light up, up my up wife. Yes, right. I go. And Dan Hamilton of Frankston, uh, well, it's out of Dan or the, the number one, the Shervingtons with the signs, I think, and I, I would throw it over to the audience to make their judgment. Melons! Melons! I think the person that went to the trouble of taking, taking the... With one baby, several, the last one, but I think the melons have it, the Shervingtons of uh, Graceville in Brisbane, uh, you have won this... Right. Yes, congratulations. You won the elegant Zoom Mate with a big 140 millimeter focal length, one of the smallest and lightest cameras in the compact range from Yashica. And for our funny photos final winner, you and a friend are off on a 15 day northern Thailand experience. See Bangkok's ancient temples and the markets, tray scenic bamboo river rafting, and elephant riding through the Thailand's lush and beautiful countryside. From Peregrine, the spirit of adventure, valued at five grand, send your funny photos to Funny Photos. Hey, hey, it's Saturday, 22 Bendigo Street, Richmond, 3121. And also send us your, your dress-up characters too because we would like to see a 10 by 8 glossy or whatever of your, your dress-up character, Conso character, that can do our consolation prizes. Send it to Conso character. Hey, hey, it's Saturday, 22 Bendigo Street, Richmond, Victoria, 3121. Whether it's just representing your club or a product or whatever, we'd love to find your Conso character. Actually, tonight's Conso character is somewhat of a celebrity. We saw him a little earlier. He's recovered. Let's welcome Marty Monster. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it, Jono! OK, yes, snooze to the soothing sounds of birds in the rainforest or the sea with a digital natural sounds clock radio from Dick Smith Electronics. <laughs> and Redback Hardware Boots made of premium leather with padded inner sole for stability and comfort available at Aussie Disposals and other stores. Experience the Redback difference. Hang on. There's a, there's a character brawl. And Fastball's current album. There it is, All the Pain Money Can Buy. Features the two hit singles, The Way and Fire Escape, plus current single out of my head from Festival Records, the world's best music. I think we have trouble with the monster in the room. It's the duck room. I've got to stop drinking.